We continue our coverage of a shocking story out of Savannah tonight. Earlier today on the news at 530, we introduced you to 13 Chinese nationals that say they were trafficked here. They described to us how they traveled through nine countries before entering the U.S., where they worked 13 hour days at a local warehouse. They reached out for help when after a month they still hadn't been paid. WTOC Shea Schrader sat down with experts in labor trafficking to find out how common this situation is. Shea joins us now and brings us what she's learned. Yes, Don, I sat down with Greg Galuli, the deputy chief of the criminal division in the United States Attorney's Office, and this interview was eye opening. Deputy Chief Galuli has been prosecuting labor trafficking cases for the last 15 years and says that labor trafficking is a prevalent problem, not just here in Georgia, but across the entire country. It's a it's a multi million dollar business for organized crime. Galuli says that victims like in the case of 13 Chinese nationals currently residing in Savannah, they're often promised a better life one that traffickers have no intention of providing them. They often come here with this hope of working and making American wages, and when they get here, they realize those jobs don't exist, and they get exploited, and they're in a foreign country, they don't speak the language. It can feel like a hopeless situation. Some labor trafficking victims enter the country legally, while others do not. The fear of what could happen to them if they contact law enforcement, Galuli says, will often stop them from seeking help, which can make bringing the traffickers to justice a challenge. You have to break that barrier of distrust. You have to get these victims to, to trust you, to tell you their story. And, and once you break that barrier and you tell them that you're not the one in trouble, we're here to help, then they start to talk. And when they start to talk, and others learn that they're getting help instead of getting punished, others start coming forward. And when they do, Galuli says that the case can quickly grow into a monster. He pointed towards one case that's still being prosecuted right now. Javier Mendoza, a Mexican national that was in the United States illegally, is currently serving a 30-year federal prison sentence for trafficking more than 500 people from Central America to Southern Georgia to work on farms. He also threatened their families and forced them to work in substandard conditions for little or no pay. Mendoza also selected one woman from that group and began sex trafficking her as well. She managed to escape, but after that, Mendoza kidnapped her and was about to murder her in Jessup before law enforcement arrived. And they ended up going in and rescuing her. Um, but she was about to be sacrificed, and that's all in Georgia. You know, it sounds like a movie, and those aren't even all the uh, atrocious facts, but that's part of the horrors that you don't see behind the scenes. It's a horrible situation that Galuli says can have a happy ending, but it starts with someone seeking help. It's gratifying to see that a victim that was crying and went through hell for years, when you see them two years later and they're, they're smiling again and that they're, they're thriving and that they want to be a voice to help others, I mean, it just grips your heart. So, yeah, that's, that's why I do it. Galuli adds that there are several important signs that someone could be a victim of labor trafficking to look out for. Now that could include someone living in a home or an apartment with an unusually high number of people like 10 or more. Another red flag is if you see someone living in conditions like that being picked up and dropped off around the same time each day. Another sign is if they're living in squalor and if someone else is controlling their documents like a passport. This is a case that a WTOC investigates is going to continue following, so stick with us for the latest. Mike, Don. All right, thank you, Shane. If you suspect someone you know is a victim of labor trafficking, Galuli says to contact the Human Trafficking Hotline. That number right there on your screen, 1-888-373-7888. We also will have it posted on our website, WTOC.com.